Hi, my name is Morten Rövik and I'm the certified Jiu Jitsu master trainer for the Nordic region. In this video, I'll demo my use of an app called Text Expander for Mac. You can find options for PC for this by googling Text Expander alternatives. And if you like this video, please consider to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I'm always looking for clever ways to remove friction in my work. And if you found yourself typing the same text over and over, like email addresses, offerings, street addresses, name, etc., you're a prime candidate to have a go at this. The way Text Expander functions is that you copy the text into a Text Expander and give the text, called a snippet, an abbreviation that will trigger the insertion of the snippet in any given place. Let me show you. Some of these snippets I made are my personal ones and some are shared with the company. Let me show you how I work with some of my personal ones. I have one for the company address, which I write quite often. I have one for my name. I have one for other people's names like Lars in Denmark. He has a long name that makes it a lot easier to write. I have for email addresses like my own. And let me also demo Lars's email address. And as you can see, it uh, pops into existence just as long as I finish the abbreviation. Um, I also have, uh, for instance, um, a calendar snippet I send to people. Um, uh, this snippet shows that I am, uh, uh, you know, I have a link in my calendar that link to my calendar that we can book a meeting with me. And I also use this for um, offerings. Let me show you how to, I will make an offering to a client who wants to have um, a seminar from us. I just do this and voila, everything falls into place fast and easy and neat. So, and that's some of the, the things that I do. And then I do some, uh, what I call um, uh, calculation magic. So for instance, yesterday's, um, uh, date is DD1 for me. I made that uh, and I can make DD2 and DD3, which is from two days ago. You see that it changes to the date one day behind or for each of them. Um, I also do some fairly advanced, I would say, uh, no, not super fairly, but fairly advanced uh, snippeting when it comes to file naming. For instance, when we are doing um, seminars, we all have evaluations and I want to make sure that when we do our um, evaluation uh, statistics, I will be able to, or our assistant easily can find the right and um, um, the file names. So for instance, when I do eval, this is then done inside um, uh, inside a, a file in Finder, for instance, that file naming. And let's just say that this was the 18th of uh, the December 2021. It was the installation lab. The client was Akir Bepe. And it was Lars who did this. Now I just made a, a file convention for this. It makes it easy to find that file after the fact. I also do for my general filing, um, I use, uh, uh, you know, the naming convention where it's the same, like starts with a date. And what is it? Um, yeah, let's say it's a contract. Regarding what? It's a coaching contract. From who? Uh, let's say that we are making up a name now. Let's call him uh, uh, Carl uh, Hendrickson, just to... <laughs> Find out, you know, make an, uh, a name, and the status of this is it's signed. So when I do this, it's it pops into everything that I need to know, and I can make an easy file search for this. Um, I hope that this has been interesting for you and that you've learned something new. And uh, please s subscribe to the channel if you found it um, something you you've been, um, you know. <laughs> You were triggered by and want to see more of. Um, if you want to, you can also listen to Lars and me doing a podcast at um, getthenordic.com. You will find the podcast links to the podcast if you would like to sign up for uh, and listening to that. And we are sharing with you the best practices of getting things done. 
So I hope that has been fairly valuable for you. Have a great day and a great week and uh, stay safe and stay productive. Bye-bye.